We finally cracked the 30 seconds on Chronos 10. I'm pretty happy about it. It's not much of an achievement. It's not something that's going to really change your gameplay. But we did get under the 30 seconds, and I believe we are equal fastest on the global server, which we'll have a look at the, the speeds. And if it works the way I think it is, I think we are equal fastest, and we are using the fully farmable team. Leeling, obviously, that if you got him on your reroll, uh, and the rest are just farmable units. So I was pretty happy with it. I want to go through this team, show you guys, because not only is it a team that can get a really fast optimal time but it's a team that can win reliably against the boss there's like a, a very low one percent rng chance and i'll explain that situation on where we lose but in general rng of like missing debuffs doesn't matter we still kill the boss i'll talk about when we can fail um, but it's also like a one percent luck to actually get the 29 second run so i wanted to go through it show you the gear because these teams are really nice when you can get a reliable really fast team um like i think this like reliably does between you know 40 to 55 seconds uh and like for we're popping the boosters where you get the increased relic drops for two hours it's fantastic to have a team like this uh for that type of gameplay so let's jump in i'll show you the team uh as you can see we've got uh my, my standard just free to play team so that that's how we nuke the boss ideally uh the boss phase runs pretty smoothly when you land the debuffs but let's just go ahead and stop it and uh i'll, I'll show i'll show you the team uh, and the stats at the start here. So let's jump in. Du, 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 du. Thank you. Let's bounce out. As you can see, we did a 40, 41 second, that one. So formation, here we go. So we've got the Li Ling leader, obviously want the extra attack. Uh, Li Ling can definitely be replaced by just about anything. We've got Chalmers in there for the big nuke. we got Leon in there for a big nuke and the Seer. Honestly, we don't need the Seer at all. You could put a second Armor Breaker in here and it'd be the pretty much the same. Single target Armor Breaker. Any single target damage in this Leon spot would be pretty fine. Uh, we've got the Drew for the Armor Break and the damage and then we've got the Dahlia for the attack buff. Now, let's look at the Relics. So, Li Ling. Now, I have been skilling up my Li Ling. I've been skilling him up for the uh, Shadowfire boss. I've got my full farmable free-to-play team really successful but getting like 3.8 million damage so i need to get some increases to get that reliable triple s so i will come at you guys with that video in the future but li ling i got him super super slow and just focusing on damage you can see i haven't even upgraded his crit damage relic or this relic uh, i literally swapped those two onto him because his normal relics had speed and i want him to be the slowest on the team the accuracy is low ideally i'd have more accuracy but you know it's not too bad that's where he is at he's on obviously crit damage attack attack next up we have charmers and charmers on the crit damage set in testing i think i prefer i think he does more damage uh on the uh, the whatchamacallit the attack set what's it called can't remember the name of it but i think he does better on the attack set but these are pretty average relics if you have a look at them like th these are not crazy um by any stretch of the imagination so you know we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually with him um and upgrade him and get him to deal some more damage because if we can really increase his damage we can actually kill the boss without needing a leeling attack and we'd be able to like shave a second or two off of the time but you know that's where Chalmers is at pretty decent mine is not fully um limit broken either he's only got the three purple so you know he's got a little bit to go as well uh leon Leon's basically there. I wanted a little bit of accuracy. You know, we kind of want to land that seer, but then you just want big damage so he can one-shot things. He's on a completely broken set here, um, as you can see. So that's just some relics that I had left over. You know, it is what it is. Uh, my Drew is over here on his lifesteal set, on his Hades set. Um, it's not really needed. I could put him on something off some more damage, but I'm just running out of good sets, essentially. Uh, and then Dahlia over here. She's on a pretty slow set, only on the plus 74 speed. Uh, I put her on damage, just trying to get her to deal damage on the second wave. I'll explain why in a second. But that's what Dahlia is on. And that is the team. Like I said, I think she's on double attack. Yeah, she's on double attack, but still getting plenty of speed in there. So that is the team. Team or turn order wants to be Dahlia, then Drew, then Leon, then Chalmers, and then uh, then Li Ling, just in the reverse order of what they're displayed here. So let's go into a quick... Uh, let's not do a multi. Let's just do a normal battle. Uh, we'll put it on auto and show you the turn order. So this one, we're going to do that. Drew's going to use skill two. Then we're going to get a one shot here. And then we're going to get a one shot here. You want those two to use those abilities on the first wave so they don't waste them on the second wave. And then they're available on the third wave. Now, Drew's normally going to use his ability two here. If you can get like 
the rare time he will use his skill three and that's when you can get the 29 second runs uh, because he will kill that enemy then do some massive damage to the next one uh, and then keep going and so here you can see it's pretty bad RNG in that we got hit pretty hard by those two guys if Li Ling actually steals some gauge from him we don't actually get that effect but we're still going to be pretty fine we land both the debuffs we go nuke and then we go Tai Chi and then it's pretty much GG from there so that is the way the team will normally run and if we miss both of the debuffs we'll run another run anyway if we miss both debuffs being the defense break and the seer we still the boss will end up killing charmers uh, but then we will get an attack from Drew, Leon, and Li Ling before the boss's next attack, and that will be enough for us to win. So it's really reliable in that, st in that sense. The only time we actually lose against this boss, and it doesn't happen often at all, is when we miss defense break, miss Seer, and the boss uses his, his AoE attack first instead of the drop rock attack. The boss, I don't know about you guys, I never really see him do it, but the times he does do it, it's devastating because what ha what happens is he'll use the AOE and kill Charmers and then he'll drop the rock on Drew and kill Drew. And that is what costs me. If As long as he doesn't do that. But having said that, as long as we get the armor break and see it, it doesn't even matter in that sense. But the timing of this works well because we kill all the enemies in the middle wave. That means we've always got the attack buff coming here. And like I said, if we get Charmers to do some more damage... We'll be able to clap that boss without needing the Li Ling attack. If I just up, up the damage on my three units, uh, if we look at something like, obviously, Leon has a broken set, and uh, what's his face? Drew has a Hades set. I'd be able to increase a fair bit of damage if I got them both on, like, attack sets or crit damage sets. I just don't have the relics yet. So we're just trying to look for some upgrades at this stage and see where we go. But what I want to do is I want to try and show you the RNG uh, we'll do it on manual. I'll, I'll show you how we can try and get that 29 second run. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to do this, do this. Okay. Now I'm just going to, I'm going to manual this because this is the way we have to do it. We do that. And then we get Drew to do his skill three there. Okay. Unfortunately, this one won't be the one either because he needs to actually attack. There's a lot of little things that need to happen. So he needs to actually attack the... Sec the other little guy with the first additional kill and then the bot the big guy and then we're pretty good but this one will be nonetheless this will be like a maybe 32 33 maybe 35 second run I'm not sure how much time we lose on that at least a little bit i think we use two extra attacks but let's see how it goes and honestly you could actually recreate this to make drew always do that if i if i built a second drew and didn't get his skill to maxed meaning it was on a three turn cooldown he would actually do this every time which would be fantastic as you can see that was a 31 second run so i could get do that with the druid the other thing i'm considering is actually six starring my dahlia and upgrading her relics to see if i can get her to do more damage to that enemy because if she does enough damage and the enemy's low enough drew will use his third skill so i'm considering doing that to try and make it more reliable i mean i use dahlia everywhere i might just six star her anyway um but that's sort of what we do so that was a 31 second run and as you can see if we can get that to reliably happen where dahlia does that it'd be fantastic now obviously on on rng battles where dahlia attacks the big guy first it's not going to work but you can see here we do this we do this Put it back on auto. There you go. This is this is the one. So this could be the 29 second run. We should kill with that. Yeah. So if we land, even if we only land armor break, we get this. If we miss the armor break, we don't get it. So let's just see what happens. Okay, we got it. So we're fine. I don't think we even need the seer, to be honest. Because we still kill with the Li Ling. So there is that. And that should be the 29 second run, I believe. And like I said, you can like manipulate this to make it more reliable if I just built a second Drew, but I'm not going to do that. I'd rather try and get my Dahlia's damage up and make that the way that we do it. But let's see, how do we go on this one? And there you go, 29 second run. So, you know, if, if I can work on that manipulation and try and get my Dahlia's damage up enough, if I can knock that enemy down to about 60 percentish health with her skill two, then we should be getting into the range where Drew more often will use his third ability. And then it's GG's from there. You get much more faster, much more reliable runs. But that is the team. Like I said, really nice getting those fast runs. Uh, let's just go into formation here. And see strategy because i think when you go to the world recommended oh no this dude got this yesterday dude clapped me dude absolutely clapped me he's at 20 se 28 seconds this you know you know this is actually gonna drive me so hard to uh go ahead and do it to get it to 28 seconds i need to up my damage dealers damage i, I want to get there i want to get there but you know 
Sub 30 seconds, I'm still happy with. I'd love to get on top of this guy. Uh, recommended for nations, updated each day. Yeah, so that was not there yesterday. But hey, props to this dude. Uh, really solid team, honestly. Really solid team. But... <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, free to play. I'm I'm working on the Shadowfire free to play team. Like I said, it's it's close. It's so close. I just need to you know beef up my damage a little bit, and we should be there. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.